Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I create the ultimate single girl smoky eye look. This is perfect for Valentine's Day for a girl's night out. Wearing this look, honey, you will not be single for long, okay? So if you're interested, just keep on watching. <music> So I'm starting out, I already have my brows done, and I am going to use my wet beauty sponge and just putting this concealer on my eye as a base. Normally, I like to work on my face makeup first, but since this is a pretty smoky look, I just want to make sure I don't get any fallout or anything. And I'm just taking a little, little bit of setting powder. This is the Huda Beauty baking powder and cupcake. To start off, I'm just taking some of my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I am buffing this right in my crease, making sure I connect this up to the brow and kind of where my nose contour is gonna be. It's gonna make everything look a lot more together at the end of things. The only other thing I have on my face already is just moisturizer and eye cream and whatnot. All right, so for today's look, guys, we're using the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Friendcation Palette. Mine is seriously beat up to hell. Um, this shadow is totally missing from it, and you can see I've literally used the crap out of everything else. Will I buy a new one soon? Probably yes. <laughs> but to start off, I am going to be picking up this color here called Necessary. Going back into the crease with this, this will help deepen it up. And I'm kind of taking it slightly towards my outer corner as well. These colors in this palette, I mean, I've used it over and over and over again, and you guys probably already heard me say this, but they really do build up so well. Next, I'm gonna take, this is the shadow brush from my Makeup by Mario brushes. And I'm gonna be picking up Churo. Taking this slightly in the outer corner and up into the outer crease as well. So just add some nice depth. I'm picking up the darkest brown called Chains. Make sure you're tapping off any extra and I am gonna just start pressing. I'm not moving it around a lot, just literally Tap, 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 pressing this right onto the lid. This is gonna seem kind of scary at first, I'm not gonna lie, but just stick it out and it'll all come together really nice. And just kind of going back in, picking up the color, laying it down as you need to. You wanna make sure you get nice and close to the lash line, get that nice and dark, and then slowly but surely I'm working it up towards the crease. We're not gonna go past the crease with this, just sticking on the lid space. And as I get closer to the crease, I do kind of do like baby windshield wiper motions to kind of taper that. You can see how this is pretty messy, which is why I'm doing it first. Though I actually wore this look to a wedding reception and I just always knew I wanted to do a tutorial on it. And I never did, and I'm thinking, oh my god, this is literally perfect for this. Single girl smoky eye, here we come. And then taking the brush, I'm just slowly kind of working it into the crease. We don't want to go super high with it. You want it to stay really controlled. And I'm just kind of maintaining my natural eye shape here. And I am taking our crease brush now and just going back and kind of blending everything together here. And by using the padding and packing motion, you're really laying down the color and making sure that it stays rather than trying to blend it all over the place. We can blend the edges at the end, but you wanna make sure this color is nice and laid down the way you want it. I'm picking up a little bit more of Necessary, which is that first crease color we laid down. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly blend our crease here and I lied I'm actually gonna pick up some of churro as well churro sounds so good right now I'm on this meal plan and your girl is like really in deep I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean up 
a little bit of that so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna finish this eye and then move over that way it's just easier to show you guys dark shimmer here called game over you want to be really careful and controlled and press it right onto your lid it looks so like wet and dark and like oh my god it's so sexy you guys are gonna love this honestly it's perfect for this type of look and i'm just using my finger and kind of dotting it in and around the lid you want to make sure it's laid down really nice depending on how intense you want this look to be i mean you could just dot this on or you can really pack it on i'm gonna go in with a little bit more using your finger with these types of shadows especially these ones from dose of colors it's really going to melt the eyeshadow right onto your lid. See how messy this is? It can get really messy. Again, why we're doing our eyes first. So I'm going to go ahead and match the other eye to everything. I will be right back and I'm going to clean this up too. I'm going to go in with liner now. This is the Joey I'm So Fly liner in black. And we're just going to do a really simple line. Nothing crazy, just following the shape of my eye. Then for mascara, we're just going to do top mascara. This is the Maybelline Snap Mascara. And lashes are Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. So I am going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and just work that in starting out my nose. I am using my Maybelline 24 hour foundation. This is in 120. Honestly, a little bit dark for me right now, but I only really have my summer shade left and I need to go shopping and get some more. I love how controlled these brushes make the application. I feel like it lets you really take care of the little details really well. Really, 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 really. <laughs> So then I'm taking my damp beauty sponge and I am just pressing this right into the skin. This is my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And this is in the color Cream Puff, going under my eyes and down the sides of my nose. A little bit here on my chin and I have a little blemish I'm gonna cover up right here. It's actually called the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, so it's really meant to do a lot of things. I'm gonna Put some on the back of my hand. This is in the color Caramel. And I'm just gonna buff this into the back of my hand like this. And we are going to carve out our cheeks and our forehead. Love contouring away my double chin, oh my gosh. Goodbye, double chin, come back never. <laughs> Don't worry guys, don't come for me. I'm gonna blend my neck and everything later. I don't have time for that right now. Start to blend this concealer in. I'm careful to try to keep it right where I put it. I don't want it to go all over my face. And that is a trick again. I know I've said this before, but I've learned to let my concealer sit from Harouche on her channel and watching her tutorials. She really is so educational i recommend you guys watch her and this is the tricky part when you do your eye makeup first is getting this little inner corner part here so make sure you're really careful and you do put concealer down there it's like so crazy how much concealer lifts your eyes i'm gonna take my huda beauty easy bake baking powder and i'm gonna start to set my under eye here when I wore this look at the wedding reception, I did bake my under eyes because I knew I wanted my makeup to be really long wearing, long lasting. So that is something if you're wearing this out on a girl's night for Valentine's Day, I highly recommend you do bake even if it's just a little bit. It's going to really help lock all of this into place for all night long. Because you got to be looking good, girl. And I like to set kind of around my mouth and my smile lines as well. I do like to bake down the sides of my nose because I feel like it helps snatch it in a little bit. And now we're going to clean up our cheeks. 
this is sitting i'm actually going to go in and do my nose contour so this is still my physician's formula butter bronzer this is deep dark i don't know if i mentioned that oh my gosh my neighbor's dogs are barking i'm gonna wipe away the powder starting kind of down here on my jaw and as I'm dusting off the eyes, I'm careful to push it in towards the nose. We're gonna go in and bronze up the face a little bit. Cause she is serving cheekbones and ankles, honey. Other thing is just make sure you get your temple area really well. It kind of helps blend. This is my Milani blush in Tea Rose. We want something kind of like warm but neutral. You don't want it to be too red. This is my shadow brush. And I am dipping right into Necessary. It's that original brown that we put in the crease. And we're going to put this all over the under eye and connect it up here. That's really the key part is connecting it. And I'm going to dip into Churo, which is the more red brown. And do the same thing. This is my Urban Decay Pencil in Double Life. It is a deep brown. I'm doing my waterline and dragging slightly in the outer corner here. With an angled liner brush, I'm picking up Cheens, which is that deep, deep, deep brown. And then I'm going to do the same thing with our little smudge brush. I'm gonna do bottom mascara and then do the same thing on the other side. I'll be right back. Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow from Laura Mercier. I'm gonna use that right here at the apples of my cheeks. It's the prettiest glow from within. It's very buttery. Any extra, I'm just taking down the bridge of my nose. I'm also taking it into my inner corner here. Also gonna use that to go right here under my brow. If you do too much, it's okay. Just go in with your finger and kind of tap it out. Lips. I am using my KKW Nude Liner in 0.5 and in 1. For 0.5, I'm going to do my entire lips. And I'm also filling them in as well. Then I'm going to take 1, which is a little bit darker. I'm going to go in and kind of define... My cupid's bow at the bottom. Lipstick, I am taking my KKW Cream Lipstick in the color Nude 2. It's a very nice nudey nude, has kind of a peachy undertone. I forgot how much I love this. I'm just gonna do a little bit in the center and then I'm going to blot my lips together. And then with that, I'm gonna use my finger and kind of dab out and blend it. Last but not least, I am going to go in and set my brows with Elmer's Clear Washable Glue. I just do a dot on the back of my hand. Ooh, I'm throwing things around apparently. Dip in with a spoolie brush, kind of spread it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna go in and kind of brush the brow hairs the way I like them. This trick with the brows too honestly your brows will stay on all day all night we're gonna set our face this is our urban decay all nighter setting spray all right you guys so that completes this look i went ahead and put on the dress that i actually originally wore this with i think this dress is really appropriate for valentine's day if you're um have a date night if you are single and going out with girlfriends anything like that this dress is so sexy when i wore it i actually used boob tape and like taped my boobs up so it looked a little bit different as you guys can see this look is so sultry sexy i mean it gives me life it makes me want to be able to wear a smoky eye like any time of the day <laughs> just so gorgeous and when i wore this you guys i had so many compliments like not even kidding this is the perfect single girl smoky eye in this single girl's opinion the products i use are going to be listed below in the description box so if you're interested in that you can check it out also i'll try and find this dress link it as well this is from house of cb i hope it's still available by the time i'm posting this so if you're interested in this dress check it out i'm wearing a size medium please support me 
me by subscribing to my channel before you leave. I actually wanted to chat with you guys. We are so close to hitting 2,500 subscribers. So that is my goal by the end of February. I want to hit that mark. So please tell your friends, tell your dog, anyone who has a YouTube channel to subscribe to me um, and support me so that we can just keep growing. And I love the community that we're creating. It's so amazing. Whatever you guys are doing on your Valentine's Day, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, you're hanging out with family, whatever it might be, just know you're beautiful inside and out. And I hope you guys have a very safe and wonderful time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.